one-to-one -one property of logarithms, we're gonna use this and solve some logarithmic equations. So what the one-to-one -one property says is basically if you can rewrite both sides of an equation, so it's a log and with the exact same base on both sides and it's a single log on each side with nothing else on either side, you're allowed to drop these logarithms and set whatever's on the inside equal to one another and solve down the resulting equation. So a few quick, easy examples, and then a few more difficult ones. So on this first one, you'll notice we have a natural log on each side. Um, we're allowed to drop that natural log from each side and say 10 minus 3x, what's on the inside there, is equal to negative 4x. And then that resulting equation shouldn't be too bad to solve down. It's linear, so I'm going to go ahead and add 3x, move that to the other side, get all the x's on one side. So we have 10 equals negative 1x. And to get rid of that negative, we can either multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. On this one, I'm electing to multiply both sides by negative 1, but we're going to get x equals negative 10 as a solution. That's a good solution. Uh, if you double check it by plugging it back into each one of these, overall what's inside here, you're going to end up with a positive value. Of course, we can only plug positive values into logarithms. Um, so good solution. Another pretty easy one, I know it may look intimidating with log base 13 on each side, but these have just a single logarithm on each side. We can drop the bases or drop the logarithms, I should say. Set what's on the inside equal to one another. Nice linear equation again in this situation. Let's try to solve it down. I'm going to move all the n terms to, both, to the left-hand side. So I'm going to add 5n, get all the variables on one side. So we have 10n minus 2 equals eight. Now that the variables are, are on the left side, let's move the constants to the right hand side. So I'll add two to both sides. So we have 10 n equals 10. And to get n all by itself, we'll divide both sides by 10. With a little bit of simplifying down, 10 divided by 10 equals one. All right, now that we've done the easier ones, let's look at a little bit more difficult equations. So on this next one, notice we have three logs involved. So as we have three logarithms involved, what I would probably do first is we want to combine stuff together. So we have a single logarithm on each side. On the left hand side, we have two logs that are uh, being subtracted. So let's use our properties of logarithms to combine these together into a single logarithm. We can say this is going to be the log of 3x minus 2 goes in the numerator because it's positive in front of this log while the two from that second logarithm is gonna go in the denominator because it's negative in front of this logarithm. Just bringing the right-hand side along, not doing anything with that, just for the time being, bring it along. So now we have a common log on the right side and a common log on the left-hand side. We can drop the logarithms because that one-to-one -one property of logarithmic functions set what's on the inside equal to one another. And now try to solve this resulting equation. Well, to solve this, I don't like fractions and most of you probably don't either. Let's go ahead and try to get rid of this fraction by multiplying both sides by two. So let's multiply the entire left side by two and the entire right side by two. This will leave us with three X minus two equals, and with a little distributing on the right hand side, we get two X plus eight. All right, no more fractions, nice linear equation. Let's move all the variable terms to the left-hand side. So subtract 2x. 3x's minus 2x's leaves us with 1x minus 2 equals 8. And then to get x all by itself, we'll add 2 to both sides. In this case, I got x equals 10. Good exact solution. So as you're doing this, make sure you combine your logs together, get a single logarithm first, and then work on dropping the logarithms um, based on the one-to-one -one property and solve down whatever results. All right, one more, just slightly more difficult, but very, very similar as far as our steps go. First thing I noticed, we have three logarithms. We only want to have a single one on the left side and a single one on the right side. So let's combine these logs together. To do so, it's going to be the common log of x plus 3 goes in the numerator. x goes in the denominator, again, based on positive or negative. Positive in front here, the x plus 3 goes numerator. Negative in front of this log, the x goes in the denominator. Now let's work on dropping the logs because we have a single log on the left side, single log on the right hand side. 
we can say this is x plus 3 over x equals 74. And then to solve down for x, we can't solve for x while it's in the denominator. So again, let's get rid of this fraction by multiplying both sides by x. So x plus 3 equals 74x. Uh, linear equation, we want to get all the variables to one side. So I'm going to move all the x's to the right-hand side this time. So 74x's minus 1x makes 73x's. To get x all by itself, we'll divide both sides by 73. Those make a 1, so we get x on one side all by itself. x is going to be 3 73rds. Good exact solution. We'll leave it like this and enter it in. All right, hope this helps out as you're working on um, solving down logarithmic equations by getting the same log on each side. So you can use one-to-one -one property and drop those logarithms. Good luck.